Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. Today I'm going to be discussing four vendor flips that you should be doing right now in Shadowlands. Now actually, I've covered one of these flips very in-depthly, so if you have not seen that video already, it's for tailoring, then you can look in the cards above or in the description below in order to get a link to that video. Now, getting into it, as you can see, I have actually made a spreadsheet for all four of these flips. So go in the description now and you can actually download the spreadsheet. All you have to have is a Google account and access to the internet or just click the link. And then if you're logged in, you can save a copy of the file. You'll not be able to edit the file right then. You just need to save a copy of it and then you can edit it on your own. But right now I'm going to walk you through it in all the four flips. So the first one we're going to talk about is actually one from BFA. But right now it is very, very good to do. And this is the Tide Spray Linen Pants Flip. So currently Tide Spray Linen is really, really cheap because a lot of people stocked up for it for like bags and, and flipping and scrapping and everything in BFA. And then they just were not able to sell it by the time Shadowlands comes around. So right now, linen is anywhere from like one gold or cheaper. So basically, this flip is taking 10 nylon thread and 17 linen and crafting it into pants that sell for 27 gold and 69 silver, as you can see right here. Now, if you are exalted with the Zandalari, you can buy the nylon thread at 48 silver, which is this right here. But if you are not exalted, you can change this to 0.51 if you have to buy them at the standard price. Currently, Tide Spray Linen on my server goes for 90 silver. So we're gonna type that in. And then instantly the calculated cost and all the profit will change. So it is basically saying if you buy your linen at 90 silver and your nylon thread at 48 silver, then the calculated cost for one pant is a little over 20 gold. Now subtracting this from the vendor price, you're making about 7.6 gold per pant. And using that each recipe costs two seconds to create, basically in a profit an hour after 1800 pants, then you are making almost 14k an hour, which is really good. Now, the reason why this one is especially good, it, you can overflow craft this item. Unlike the Shadowlands, how they fixed it, in BFA, anything you craft will go to your mailbox if your bags are full. So for example, if you're going down to eat, or you want to get a snack, or you want to go downstairs and watch TV or something, then you should do this flip because it will keep going until you get kicked for being AFK. So that is a very, very good plus for this, for this flip. Now, going back to the top, these are all Shadowlands specific vendor flips that you can do right now. The first one is the Shrouded Cape, which I actually covered in my previous video. Now it takes four shrouded cloth and one penumbrum thread to create this. Up top, basically, if you have exalted for the Zandalari just with the nylon thread, then the penumbrum thread will be four gold. If you do not have this, you will want to change this value back to 5, because that is the normal price. Then you want to find out what your shrouded cloth is, and currently on my server it's about 6 gold, so we're just going to use that. So calculating, basically, just like the previous video says, if you can buy cloth at 6 gold, you'll be making about 16k an hour, which is really, really good. Now, the Ceremonious Blade. It is a blacksmithing flip that you can do, and it costs five lacerite ore and three luminous flux to craft. Now this one isn't very valuable on my server currently, but I do know somebody from my Discord actually commented saying that it is actually very viable for them because the ores have crashed on their server. So currently, each ore goes for 27 gold which is why the profit per item is about negative 80 gold, so I would not want to do this flip. However, if we change this to 8, which currently on his realm, that's what it's saying he's buying it at, then he is actually making 28k per hour crafting this, which is insane. So if you could buy your lace dry ore at around 8 gold, you can make a really big profit. Let's see, even, even at 9 gold, you can make about 20k profit. So definitely look out for that if you have a blacksmithing character. Now, the fourth and final flip is for the composite bow. It is a leatherworking item. So to actually craft this, you will need five desolate leather 
six pallid bones, and two penumbra thread. And just like before, if you have a character that is exalted with either Zazandalari or Orgamar, then the thread will maintain at four gold. Currently, the only vendor price I can find is at five gold for the flux. However, on Wowhead, it does say you can buy it at four gold. So if you can find it for full four gold, then make sure you can change that value. And then you will just want to find the current value of the leather and bones on your server. Currently, the ones right here, I just inputted them before recording, so that's my correct cost on my server. So, with the vendor price being about 90 gold, and the calculated cost with these are about 76 gold, then I'm making about a 12 gold profit per item, which reaches out to about 23,000 gold per hour, which makes that the best farm on this list. So yeah, basically, you just want to level 3 ults, or 2 depending on... The professions you have and you want to make sure you have a tailorer a blacksmith and a leather worker so you're able to do all these farms and whenever you're going afk for a very long period of time make sure you have your tailorer to do this pants flip because you can be fully afk in order to do this and just an extra tip for you i know a lot of you have a lot of gold and you and some of you even already have a second account so i know what a lot of people do is on their second account let's say they're a tailorer and then they are crafting these capes or these pants on their second account as they play the game on their main account. So basically they're wasting no time at all and just making free gold. Like if you do, let's say you do this pants flip, in an hour of normal playing you will have 14k extra on you. So yeah, definitely if you can afford it, make sure you buy another account, level them up to 50, and then get these recipes so you can just make positive passive gold. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure you go to the description below and get this spreadsheet. It will help you a lot. And you won't have to worry about like, oh, is this gonna be okay? Am I losing gold? It will just tell you all right here. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord down below, and have a good day. <laughs>